Hi, today we're going to see how to create the spiral text effect in GIMP. So first I'm going to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. Press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. So just select the Layers tab here, I was on the Paths tab. Make sure the background color is black. So I'm going to use the black color for the background and the white color for the text tool. So make sure the foreground color is white. The font I'm going to use is Roboto Bold. The size is 50 pixels. And the spacing between the letters is 25 pixels. So left click here to create a new text box. And now I'm going to type my text. So here it is, spiral text. And then Control A to select all text. And then Control C to copy. And I'm going to add a space at the end of the text here. So Press the space bar and then control V to paste your text and then do it again. Space bar, control V and then space bar, control V. So here it is. And now I'm going to select the ellipse selection tool, this one here. So first I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon here, fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now I'm going to trace my circle here. While tracing here, while making your selection, keep the control key and the shift key down here to create a perfect circle with the same width and height. So for me, I'm going to create. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the size here to 770, press enter. And for this one to 770, press enter. So here it is. Now I'm going to move it here like this and then press enter to confirm the selection and now I'm going to convert this selection into a pad so select the paths tab here and then click on this icon here selection to path so here it is and now I'm going to remove this selection so go to select none since I don't need it so here's our path here and now I'm going to put our text here on the path so I'll select the text tool right click on it text along the path so it will put this text on the circle here. So here it is. And now I'm going to hide this text here. So select the transparent layer. Go to the path tab again. I'm just going to, this is the path of the text here on the circle. So I'm going to double click on it. So as you can see, we're on the ellipse tool. So double click on it. So here, as you can see, the tool changed to the paths tool. And now we have all the paths here of the text here on the circle shape so, so I'm just going to fill it so click on fill path solid color check the anti-aliasing it will use the foreground color so and then fill make sure so select the layers tab make sure you're on the transparent layer and then fill and now if you want to remove the paths here just select another tool so here it is and now go to the paths tab I'm going to uncheck the text path here so here it is Go to the Layers tab. Now I'm going to crop this layer to its content. So go to Layer, Crop to Content. So here it is. And now go to Filters, Map, Recursive Transform. So here it is. And now I'm going to change the number of iterations to 11 to 10. So here like this. And now make sure the first iteration is zero. And then Select the square, this one here, as you can see, it is outlined in orange, not the diagonal shape, this one here. And then keep the control key down here to scale it proportionally. And now I'm going to scale it down. So here it is, you can still increase the number of iteration. So let's say I'm going to increase it to 12, 13. So here, I think it's okay here, so press okay. So here's our spiral text. And now I'm going to add another filter. So go to filters, distort, and then whirl and pinch. So here if you increase the whirl, so as you can see, make sure to not go over the layer here, boundaries. So here I think it's too much here. So reset, so you can play with the different settings here. So I'm going to increase a little bit the radius. So here I think I'm going to leave it like this, press OK. 
and now right click on the top layer so now I don't need the text layer this one here so delete it press the x icon here to remove it and now select the te text layer here this parent text merge it down with the background so here it is and now I'm just going to sharpen it to sharpen the text here so this layer here so go to filters enhance sharpen and sharpen mask press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in so let's see the preview here is before and here's the, the after you can still increase here to make it a little bit sharper press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out so here and now I'm going to leave it like this press ok so here it is so that's how you can create a spiral text effect in GIMP thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time